everyone. So welcome to this video about the best and worst traits associated with each zodiac sign. So first of all, say hello to my little cat monuments and my crystals. And let's dive right in. So Aries, 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 Aries. At its best, such trailblazers, innovators, leaders, um, people who can really push other people forward. They are dominant, but they can, when they use those dominant traits in a good way, they can be extremely powerful people for society and people that can do very, very good things and who can, you know, become successful in all walks of life. At their worst, they can be immature, impulsive, um, very rabid in the pursuit of what they want, and very dominant, sometimes even bullies and insensitive. So for Taurus, um, at their best, they're just peaceful, peaceful types of people, very pacifist, I guess it's the same thing. Um, they really, you know, enjoy the fine things in life. Um, they derive a lot of, uh, of pleasure and happiness from life. Um, at their worst, they're stubborn as fuck. And I don't say fuck much on this channel, but they're so stubborn, um, inflexible, and lazy, kind of... Yeah, they can be lazy, and um, sometimes they, they have a temper that can build up and build up, and then boom, it comes. And yeah, they can just be this real, real um, push away from change. So Gemini, um, at their best, they're open, straightforward, friendly, communicative, uh, versatile. These are all common traits of Gemini. But at their worst, they can be a little bit shallow. They can be a little bit um, gossipy talking about other people, and also they can be the types of people that get bored really easily and um, might, and, and this can be a good thing and also a bad thing, like um, in terms of relationships, you know? And um, sometimes they like to start arguments just for their amusement. Uh, cancer, at its best, super, super emotional, in touch with its emotions, so empathetic, so giving, so, such a good heart. Um, always there for friends and family, right? They're supportive, all these things. At their worst, they are clingy, moody. Um, they, they can be passive aggressive, they can be suspicious, they can be also a bit stubborn in the sense of like, um, you know, the crowd going back in its shell and just like not opening up and not letting anyone in. Um, Leos, so obviously, you know, the, the Leos at their worst is very self-centered, um, egotistical, pretentious, all the things we all know. Um, at their best, they're very open-hearted, magnanimous, um, people who want to see other people smile. They're friendly, genu generous, um, they give praise, you know, they always, they, t they love to take praise, but they also really love to give praise. So Virgo, at its best, these people are gentle, you can count on them, they're wise, very, very good at analyzing and deciding what needs to be done, they're pure people that really have a strive for something very high in their lives. At their worst, they can be finicky micromanagers um, who quickly get lost in the minute, unimportant details um, and are never satisfied. Also, they can be the people who are so obsessed with their own perfection that when they that they can be very nitpicky and um, you know just noticing all the tiny little bad things about every everyone every situation. So Libra, uh, at their best, they're very diplomatic. They can listen, hear different sides of the story, communicative, um, tons of patience. They really you know really really want to make other people happy. Um, at their worst, they can be indecisive because, you know, it's the balance. They can be people-pleasing. They can be social climbers. They can be fickle. They can make promises they never keep. So, yeah. So, Scorpio. <laughs> so, at their best, they're such deep people. Um, you know, they're intelligent a lot of times. They, they're intuitive. They're powerful people. They're powerful people who... Um, want you know who 
can use that power for good or bad. And that leads me to the bad part of Scorpio. Um, at their worst, they can be very suspicious, fearful, manipulative. They can use that that intense, you know, psychological power that they have for bad. Um, there's tons of also of, of more you can say about every sign. I'm just kind of trying to make the video quick. Um, but what else about Scorpio in terms of best? Um, yeah, just super empathetic, super deep, super um, usually pretty artistic people, artistic mind. I mean, I guess all the water signs are. And loyal, I would say. I think Scorpio is super loyal. And also, Scorpio is so fucking stubborn. <laughs> um, second cuss word of the video. Very stubborn. Sag. So, Sag, at their best, they're friendly, open-minded people, interested um, in lots of stuff, very philosophical, very, you know, loves to travel, they, they love to teach, they love to learn, all these things, right? Um, they also love to party and be, f and, and, you know, and have fun and, and bring that to other people. At their worst, they can be overly opinionated um, and un and somewhat dogmatic, like they, they, there can be this this energy where it's like, I have searched so much to figure out my life philosophy, now you have to believe it, you know, and they can really, really be imposing, over imposing, and a big lesson for Sag is to know that, you know, everyone has their own um, transition, their own, um, you know, path for learning things and all that. So Cap, Cap, very hard workers, very um, people with honor. They have um, grace under under pressure. They can be relied upon. Um, they, they strive for success, right? They strive to build solid foundations in their life. Um, and they can really f work well under pressure, um, fix bad situations. Um, but at their worst, they can be really cold people, controlling, unapproachable, also sometimes social climbing, like, you know, would, would sometimes, like, do immoral stuff to get ahead. And yeah, especially for Capricorn Moon, there can be like a lot of stuckness, you know, a lot of um, stuck emotional patterns, uh, rigid, and yeah. Aquarius, um, so they're very humanitarian. They're very, um, you know, they, they care so much about the world, about helping people. They're eccentric, they're different. They're people who, are you know beating to the beat of their own drum? There are people who are, did I say creative? Creative. There are people who just, they're not gonna just follow society, they're gonna make their own rules. And it's amazing about Aquarius. But at their worst, stubborn as hell. Know it alls. Know it alls. Know it alls. Know it alls. And in some cases, can be over rebellious. Um, what I mean by that is like where your initial reaction is to rebel. Last sign, my sign, Pisces. So Pisces, so creative, so empathetic, so compassionate, so kind and gentle, so willing to walk the extra mile for someone, anyone, not even just people they love. They'll do things for anyone. Um, and there's, they really have this amazing ability to, to just get along with everyone, kindred souls. Um, at their worst, they're escape artists. They're escapists who struggle with drug and alcohol addictions, things like that. There are people because Pisces is striving to find this this otherworldly energy, right? They're they're striving to find this um, Neptunian, this heavenly energy, you could say. And um, the most important thing for Pisces is to find a healthy, creative outlet. So instead of drugs and alcohol, music. So that's about it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, in the comments, I really want to hear which, you know, um, at least for your sun and moon, like how this resonated, if you want to add anything or whatever you, you want to comment. And um, what else? That's essentially it. So thanks so much. And um, I'll be back soon with a new video. And yeah, there's a new moon coming in a few days. So there'll be a video about that most likely. Thank you. Oh yeah, I said to you